Before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I will show up directly. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel once again. So I am at the moment here in Hof main station and I'm going to Beirut to film the university there. Let's start the video. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this frame. Cause I came to the game. So here I am at Barrage of It takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping off, singing. Talking a bit about Bayreuth as a city, Bayreuth is charming and cozy student city. And the city has a population of 75,000 people. And that is not particularly so large in comparison to other cities of Germany. But that's exactly the point is that you will always run into your friends and because the city is so small. It'll be very interesting for you to know Bayreuth as a city is world famous for its annual opera festival. But beyond this, it also offers students and researchers a wealth of cultural and artistic attractions. The University of Bayreuth also has another campus which is around 25 kilometers from Bayreuth, uh, which is their seventh campus of life sciences. Under this faculty, they teach food, nutrition, and health. Uh, so these are the subjects what they cover. And this is located in Kulmbach area. I have finally reached uh, outside Bayreuth Hauptbahnhof station. And this is what the area looks like as soon as you are out. There is a taxi stand, there is a bus stop right here. I have a friend of mine who is studying here in Bayreuth University. His name is Abhi. Why don't you give us your introduction? Yeah, my name is Abhi. I am studying Masters in Informatics or Computer Science. I came here October 2019. I wanted to ask you if somebody is flying here for the first time, what was your flight route to Bayreuth? So I took an Air India flight from Delhi to Frankfurt. So from Frankfurt there are two options, uh, either take a Flixbus from Frankfurt direct to Bayreuth but what I did is because uh, Flixbus has a luggage restrictions so I took a ICE till Nuremberg and from Nuremberg I took a RE till Bayreuth but sometimes you won't get a direct RE from Nuremberg you can uh, I think get down at Pegnitz or uh, Listenfels I think so from there you can uh, again take a RE so right yeah so just to keep it simple get down at Frankfurt from Frankfurt go to Nuremberg Nuremberg to Bayreuth right? yeah cool uh, how important is it for you to know German language here otherwise you won't get a part-time job for example you know? yeah I would say uh, if you can get uh, if you can learn at least A2 your life would be simple here uh, okay. you can get a part-time job there aren't many English speaking part-time jobs I would say because it's a small city yeah but uh, if you can uh, learn at least a2 then your life would be smooth i am currently a2 level fluent in german i would say people here are welcoming and uh, i didn't face much troubles here I see. Wow. so we just walked for like five minutes from the main station all the way here this is what the whole thing looks like what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and i've got something to say yeah so five to seven minutes we walk from the main station and uh, right behind me uh, this is where uh, this is the route house of Bayreuth city right yeah. and uh, this is where you get your city registration done i guess right? yes so as soon as you arrive here newly to the city uh, you're supposed to have an accommodation and take the contract, passport copy, visa copy, right? Yeah. All of that, go inside, they'll give you a piece of paper. That piece of paper will then help you to get into any contract in this country, whether it's a mobile contract or, or internet, Wi-Fi. Open whatever. a bank account also. And a bank account also. So extremely important piece of paper. Wait, which bank account are you using uh, right now? I'm using Sparkasse. Oh, uh, Sparkasse is right yeah, here. I have the account That's open here. Oh, you open your account yeah. here? Okay. Mostly the students right come here and you just uh, need to take an appointment prior to the prior to coming here and uh, most students come here to open the bank account and it's very easy to get all the things done. There is the opera house. Right there. Yeah. That That's building which is under, under construction. construction. So that was that the whole inside of opera house is made of wood mm -hmm. and when the artists used to play there the whole uh, mu the whole sound used to resonate in the whole of opera house 
and it was destroyed during the world wars but still after reconstruction it is huge so yeah. i would recommend you should go there once okay let's take a walk in this area it looks beautiful look so are we like right now oh what river is this uh this is i guess rot mine which is the uh, main river in bayroid i would say okay uh so it flows in the whole of city and the i mean bayroid city is known to be just beside the rot mine river oh look at this oh my god I've been driving this train years in this lane there's no stop in this flame cuz I came to the game and I changed it to play how I like rearranged it to my own domain yeah I got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and I've got something to say yeah and that's where opera is right yeah opera house cool this is the university bus 304 but we are just going to the main uh, bus stop technically if if we would have walked from station all the way to here i think it would have only taken us 10 minutes yes but we were enjoying that right behind me this is where the whole bus stop is and uh, from here you could go to any part of the city at the moment we are at bus stop uh, this uh, Haldestale L from here buses will take you straight to the campus right yes uh, uh, what is the bus number uh, so right now 306 is going to come and uh, just after that 304 would also take you to the campus okay. what is this place no call us uh, this is maximilian strasse but uh, also known as city center like you can say city center and uh, i think if you need something apotheke is there you know the sim card there. banks you, are there yeah. supermarkets are there a lot of restaurants on both side of the road so anything you need you have to come to this place and you'll get your things here hello, hello everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the university, to the university of bayreuth let's, let's start our start campus, campus tour i finally reached here in the university of bayreuth herzlich willkommen let's start today's video i have couple of my friends who are uh, joining us on this uh, campus tour hi guys so i'm from mumbai i did my bachelor's in biomedical engineering i passed out in 2016 and after that i was working for 3 years and then i applied for the biofabrication course which is offered by university of bayreuth my ilts score was 7.5 i did not give gre for this but yeah definitely my work experience helped so my cgpa for bachelor's was 7.8 Seven point eight, yeah. yeah. Cool. So this is like the main highway of the university. It's known as University Strasse Thirty. So this is where like the buses from the city center and all comes and they enters the campus. So this is the main building of the university. Yes, uh, this is the. administrative block or the it also houses the welcome service international office so if you have any problem regarding your uh, accommodation or any sorts of problem if you are new in this country you should definitely visit them so basically on first day you yep. just show you up should here. Sh you should come there this ZUV is the building, building. Yeah. building. okay do you want to add any point yeah so this is like the zuv building or uniferwaldung building and the building opposite we can see so that's where the uh, offices for student and work are so if so your hostel allotments and everything is done by the uh, student and work over where is Franken. the entrance for that yeah we'll go there oh it's this way okay yeah yeah Okay. and also that building houses the office for insurance like the tk office is there so you guys have do you have tk yeah tk insurance you have yeah This i also have tk, TK. so uh, if you need any kind of documents from the tk you should visit this uh, student and work uh, office stupa is also here student uh, parliament yes okay so this is the main uh, building for the student parliament to stupa right and here and uh, this is the entrance of the international office this is the entrance right here he's saying and for student and work this is for student and work so for accommodations you go here yeah oh, accommodation yeah. and tk office is there and for insurance also you go here yeah. yes and okay. downstairs we have an auditorium kind of thing so all the as and events right there yeah so all the a as and events or like the student parliament events are often conducted in this seminar hall i see oh huh. this is right here yeah. this whole thing okay what about student id card Uh, after you do the registration here uh, mostly student id cards are sent to your address oh ah, okay so they post it huh? yeah yep they post it but they also have a option if you want to collect or not i don't i'm not sure if they have it now uh, but mostly they post it to your address so from that international building and this is the student and work the accommodation building what we showed you uh right here this is where the sports this is a sports area yeah this is the sports uh, center where uh, 
you can i mean if you're planning to take a sports courses then uh, this is where your classes would be held otherwise if you want to join any type of sports like african dancing or even yoga or all other stuffs you can definitely come here or if you want to uh, learn tennis or play basketball maybe any kind of sports thing you have to come here what is this here i'm seeing everywhere on the campus yeah so there's some fun part so the sports department actually they have installed this campus active pads across the campus so you can see they have marked on the map of the university so there are i think around 6 oh no there are eight campus active pads where every campus active pad has a certain set of exercises so they have actually shown the pictures of the exercises so you run walk across through the campus and then you go to the various campus active pads and then you do various exercises there so this is like a first campus active pad it describes a stabilization exercises and these are the exercises that you can do there hmm. so similarly you can continue your journey across the campus and use various campus pads and do different exercises where are we yeah so this is the tau building it's also known as technology uh, alliance oberfranken so this is what i was talking about mm-hmm. so okay. ground floor actually have like the department of uh, metal uh first floor has department of ceramic and second floor is like the department of biofabrication and also all their respective labs are distributed across this building when was the last time you went inside today oh okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i actually work in the labs in this building right. so this is the audi max so it's like the biggest auditorium in the university campus and it has a capacity of around 1000 students so there is a one big hall with 700 capacity and then couple of small halls with like 100 capacity so roughly around 1000 students can sit at a time again so when like a new students come here for the semester so the welcome service actually conducts the orientation service in the audi max where they give you brief about everything about the city culture like uh, formalities and everything is done in the audi max itself exactly opposite to it we have like a freishroom and this is like a menza freishroom is like a kind of cafeteria where you have all vegan dishes and some exotic dishes whereas the menza is like a regular canteen that we have in india so fresh room is right here right here menza this side so, this is the entrance for menza i believe yeah yeah this is the entrance okay. for the menza we also saw it from that side you said there is a library here yeah and a uh, spark center room yeah yeah so okay. we'll just walk up there okay cool what's next this is like the central oh, this library is the or central b- bibliotheque Right. This is a library here. Yeah. And I see some people sitting inside right now. I see my veins I've been driving this train. Years in this lane there's no stop in this flame cuz I came to the game and I changed it to play. Yeah, this is the building like Geowissenschaften or Geosciences and in the same building we have offices for the language centers. I see. Right now uh yeah this is the map right? Can yeah, so this is the you? brief map of the university. So this fan buildings are like the engineering science buildings. This NW is like a nature vision shaft and not like natural science buildings. Then RW1 RW2 is like a law and economics buildings. Then OBG is like the botanical garden in the university campus. AI is artificial intelligence building. Then ZUV is like the welcome service sports uh, welcome service and uh, student registration office student council. Tau is like a uh, technical alliance over Franken building where like the biofabrication and other departments are there and on the left hand corner we see the sports center all right now so right now we are right here okay GW1 was this building right here and then uh, uh, the bibliotheque is this one and then the menza is right there which is uh, here so this circle what you see is right here right yeah Okay. that's like a rondel where so this is like a heart of the university and it connects actually all the uh, different buildings across the campus of the university something unique about rondel is like uh, normally during summers they like put all beach sands and there are a lot of like games which are hosted there a lot of events which are hosted there then they also have like open air show where at night people just come with their beers have fun and just watch movie on the open air show yeah. so it's like a lively and happening place in the university campus mm-hmm. yeah so this is like the law building and uh, it also has like a library which actually runs till 12 well at night and all the students from other department can also go to this library for study purpose yeah so right now we are just in front of the nw2 building nw2 building uh, posts all the natural science courses i from the informatic department also have the library in this building 
so informatic department doesn't have a, a separate library we go here and then we are going to towards the nw3 building we are just in front of the nw3 building here all the natural science courses are offered i think biochemistry and all other courses also sometimes language german language courses are also held here so in my time a uh, few of the language courses were held here and what about this this is the fan building we'll just show you the entrance of like we arranged it to my own domain yeah i got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and i've got something to say yeah i work hard each day. the entrance of fan b i guess right yeah so this is like a fan campus so fan campus basically host all the courses of engineer vision chapter or engineering sciences so the building that we saw first was like a fan a building that's a yeah yeah this is like a fan b building and then fan c building it's so right here. yeah so there are all research labs then seminar halls and lecture halls which are there so in fan b building also at like on like downstairs we have like a elephant racing department elephant racing is like an f1 department of uni bayreuth where they uh, construct f1 cars and do the racing for that so do you guys have like a tuition fees so of course uh no so this is like a public funded university and we just have to pay the semester fee which includes like a uh, contribution for student and work and i think there is one more contribution so it roughly around 110 euros 100, per semester yeah, 110 euros 115 per euros per semester not more than that so with okay. that we get the semester ticket and uh, the buses are free in the whole of uh, bayreuth mm -hmm. and you can also travel by train till uh, pegnitz which is a small uh, town just next to the bayreuth Right. So basically, your student ID card is also your travel ticket. Yes. Travel ticket. I so forgot to ask one question. What about the cost of living here as a student? So Bayreuth can be considered as a tier two city. So when you compare with big cities like Munich and Stuttgart, it's not that costly. So approximately, we can say around five hundred euros is what we bear per month. That includes your rent and your groceries and your. like uh, insurance insurance, insurance and, and everything yeah so roughly around 500 euros we can say per month we spend on our stuff so in uni bayreuth so normally there are certain cities where if you enroll for the course and if the course is like 2 years so for first year when you come from india you have a block account and that block with that block account they give you like visa for 2 years but like in bayreuth city council so they give you the visa only for the duration that you have money for so if you have one year block account then you get visa for one year and then again for the next year you have to show a new block account with all the formalities again to get the visa for the second year can you name some uh, accommodations here for the the wohnheim names yeah so there is like a main wohnheim which is just adjacent to the university campus it's kreuzenbad campus and then birken campus frankengut strasser campus where they have all the official university hostels yeah. there is also one more private hostel which is just so we saw audi max and uh, freistrom so just besides that we have a private hostel known as alfred delp hostel yeah. so there also all the university uh, student stays so next to the it right it department yes. this is where you can go to botanical garden yeah this is the way to botanical garden just besides the ai building and unfortunately now it is closed but yeah okay and what is this building right here this is a pinas building where it houses all the polymer so polymer department and all the studies related to polymers is conducted here so where so are we right now we are just in front of the ai building or the computer science building so if you are planning to take computer science in the masters or if you are planning to take any of the courses this is the building you have to come and just beside is is the international office or the main students record office yeah